Saudi Arabia just shocked American scientists with this. Journey that transcends borders right into the heart of Saudi Arabia. Often misunderstood, Saudi Arabia has recently astounded the global community, not least American scientists, with a pioneering ecological transformation, one that's redefining the nation's landscape and altering the narrative of environmental conservation worldwide. Witness the Green Revolution of Saudi Arabia, an audacious endeavor that challenges the harsh desert conditions, transforming vast stretches of arid land into lush, green landscapes. From desolate deserts to fertile farmland, the magnitude of this transformation is beyond imagination. Next, we delve into the heart of the phenomenal Great Green Wall. The astonishing initiative is not just about vegetation. It's a fortress against desertification, a testament to Saudi Arabia's commitment to a greener, more sustainable future. Imagine a wall, but instead of bricks and mortar, it's teeming with life, a living barrier stretching as far as the eye can see. We are going to unlock the technological strides that are powering this transformation be it state-of-the-art irrigation systems, solar power technology, or innovative carbon capture techniques. Saudi Arabia is blending tradition with technology in a way that's shattering preconceived notions. So sit back and prepare for a captivating journey. Witness a nation's metamorphosis, a testament to human ingenuity and resolve. Saudi Arabia is not just changing itself, it's challenging the world to rethink the future of our environment. Stay tuned and explore the evolution of a nation. The Amala Project is an innovative and luxurious real estate development that is situated along the unspoiled coast of the Red Sea in Saudi Arabia. The project has a lofty goal, to revolutionize the way people in the region think about ultra-luxury travel and hospitality by utilizing its expansive vision and painstaking planning. This project is a paradigm shift in the field of luxury tourism and is located in the heart of Saudi Arabia's breathtaking natural beauty. Its goal is to develop a secluded sanctuary that deftly incorporates contemporary design with the surrounding natural setting. The goal of the project is to create a location that provides experiences that are incomparable and that satisfies the requirements of high net worth individuals, discerning tourists and cultural enthusiasts alike. A world-class luxury destination that celebrates art, culture, wellness, and sustainability is the ultimate goal of the project. At its core, this vision lies at the very center of the project. The purpose of the project is to reimagine what it means to be luxurious by incorporating in a seamless manner brilliant artistic expression, unmatched hospitality, and life-changing experiences. Thai Project aims to provide guests with experiences that will live long in their memories and encourage them to discover new horizons by compiling a collection of premium amenities and services. This project encompasses a total area of over 4,155 square kilometers and enjoys a prominent position along the coast of Saudi Arabia's northwestern corner. Visitors will find themselves in awe when they explore this enormous tract of land, which features unspoiled beaches, reefs, and mountains, as well as other natural features. Triple Bay, the island, and the coastal development make up the three primary components of the project. Each region has its own set of unique characteristics and points of interest, which results in a wide variety of activities and opportunities for guests to partake in. This project is a significant investment in the future of luxury tourism and hospitality, and it is expected to pay off in the near future. The development plans to create a destination of world-class caliber that establishes new benchmarks of excellence, and it's estimated that the investment will be in excess of $20 billion. The development will include opulent hotels, vias, residential properties, retail outlets, and public spaces, as well as infrastructure of the highest technological caliber. Because of careful planning and attention to detail, the entire project has been meticulously crafted to perfection in every respect. As a result of this project's recognition of the significance of preserving the natural environment, the organization's development strategies prioritize sustainable practices. Efforts are made to reduce the negative impact on the environment by employing environmentally conscious building methods, using renewable energy sources, and implementing water conservation practices. 
In addition to supporting the local biodiversity, the project intends to preserve and restore the natural habitats that are located in the area that is being developed. Amala's mission is to provide its guests with luxury experiences that cannot be matched by any other property in the world by combining first-rate service with opulent amenities. Every facet of the project, from luxurious hotels and resorts to private vias and spas, was created with the intention of appealing to the most discerning of vacationers. As a result of the development project, visitors will be able to experience the pinnacle of opulence thanks to the inclusion of restaurants with Michelin stars, exclusive entertainment venues, and upscale shopping boutiques. The project's emphasis on honoring art, culture, and heritage is one of the defining characteristics of this initiative. The plans for the development include the creation of an art school, a cultural district, and immersive art installations. Visitors will have the opportunity to participate in a wide variety of artistic expressions, view exhibitions, and interact with well-known artists from all over the world. Guests have access to a wide variety of recreational opportunities such as yoga retreats, golfing, tennis, and water sports. In addition to this, the project will include luxurious spas and wellness centers of the highest caliber, which will offer restorative activities and encourage holistic health. It is anticipated that the project will have a considerable influence on the economy of Saudi Arabia. Employment opportunities will be created in a variety of industries as a result of the development and operation of the project, including the construction industry, the hospitality industry, and the tourism industry. The influx of wealthy individuals and tourists from other countries will stimulate economic diversification and contribute to the expansion of local businesses. This project is dedicated to the growth of Saudi Arabia's human capital and will work tirelessly toward this end. The purpose of the project is to enable the local communities to take an active role in the expansion of the tourism and hospitality industries by providing them with the education and employment opportunities necessary to do so. Amala's goal is to develop a sustainable economic ecosystem that will be to the benefit of both the local population and the success of the project. This will be accomplished by fostering talent and encouraging entrepreneurial endeavors. The Amala Project is in line with Saudi Vision 2030, which is an all-encompassing plan to transform the economy of Saudi Arabia into one that is dynamic and diverse. This project contributes to the vision's goals of increasing tourism, promoting cultural heritage, and diversifying the economy by drawing high-end tourists and fostering cultural exchange. These goals were outlined in the vision and the project acts as a driver for the expansion of the tourism industry in the kingdom, which, in turn, opens up new doors for opportunities in terms of both economic growth and employment. Collaborative efforts with regional, national, and global partners, the company has developed strategic partnerships with organizations both locally and internationally. The project benefits from the expertise and innovation of industry leaders by collaborating with renowned architects, designers, and hospitality brands. This ensures that the project will be completed successfully. These partnerships improve the offerings of the project and generate synergies that lead to an overall improvement in the experience that visitors have. And then the next thing for which Saudi Arabia set an example for the whole world is its green revolution. The name Saudi Arabia used to be linked with dry desert landscapes and oil refineries. Nevertheless, the country has just begun an ambitious quest known as the Green Revolution. In order to transform the rough desert environment into fertile green farmland, the nation is implementing novel farming practices and cutting-edge technologies. This transition, while presenting a challenge to the country's logistical infrastructure, demonstrates the nation's dedication to environmental stewardship, sustainable growth, and economic diversification. The vast deserts of Saudi Arabia, while breathtaking, present formidable obstacles for the traditional farming practices that have been used there due to the limited availability of water resources and the extremely high temperatures. However, as a result of the country's environmental perspective, these very same landscapes are now regarded as a canvas on which change and development might be painted. The image of Saudi Arabia as a barren desert nation is being challenged by Saudi Arabia's green revolution, which is turning these dry expenses into lush green fields. The idea of Saudi Arabia as a barren desert land is a stereotype. It is a demonstration of the country's dedication to environmentally responsible practices and a testament to the inventiveness of humans in the face of obstacles posed by the natural world.
The idea of farming in a desert where water is scarce and temperatures can reach extremely high levels may appear to be contrary to common sense. Saudi Arabia, on the other hand, is doing everything it can to meet this threat head on. It is less about conquering the desert and more about learning to live with it that is at the heart of the desert farming revolution taking place in the kingdom. Achieving agricultural advances and providing a global example of resilience and creativity, Saudi Arabia is doing so by acquiring an awareness of the desert's distinctive traits and the limits that it imposes. Utilizing technology in a thoughtful and deliberate manner has been essential to Saudi Arabia's success in desert farming. The technique of hydroponics in which plants are grown without the need of soil and with only a small amount of water is proving to be a revolutionary method. Plants are grown in a nutrient-rich solution rather than soil. This allows the plants to use only the quantity of water that is necessary for their growth, so conserving a large amount of this valuable resource. Another method that's gaining popularity, particularly in metropolitan areas, is known as vertical farming. By growing crops upwards in stacked layers, it is possible to get a high output in a short space, so supplying locally grown fresh product and minimizing reliance on imported items. These methods not only save resources by using a noticeably lower amount of water compared to conventional farming, but they also encourage the growth of a wider variety of crops, which contributes to an increase in the regional biodiversity. For example, drip irrigation can transport water straight into the plant roots, which can substantially cut down on the amount of water that is wasted. The retention of water is essential to farming in arid environments. The lack of available water presents a significant obstacle for farmers in dry environments. Saudi Arabia, on the other hand, is putting forward cutting-edge strategies for water retention in order to make the most efficient use of the water resources that are now accessible. The act of collecting and storing rainwater and other forms of moisture for the purpose of later usage in irrigation is known as water retention. The nation is currently making use of contemporary irrigation methods like drip irrigation, which feeds water straight to the plant roots rather than allowing it to evaporate and be lost. This technique not only guarantees that the plants receive the precise amount of water that they require, but it also maintains the nutritious quality of the soil. In addition to this, Saudi Arabia is investigating the use of superabsorbent polymers, which are chemicals that can hold and release enormous quantities of water for the purpose of determining whether or not these substances have the ability to improve water retention in sandy soils. The Green Revolution in Saudi Arabia is not exclusive to the realm of agriculture. Additionally, it entails moving toward energy sources that are less polluting and more sustainable. The country is well known for its huge oil reserves. Nevertheless, it is also beginning to capitalize on the copious sunlight that shines on its arid lands. The expansion of solar power farms is a key step towards the use of renewable energy, which helps to cut down on a country's overall carbon footprint and contributes to the fight against climate change on a worldwide scale. The effects of the Green Revolution are not limited to those that occur in the natural world. The creation of jobs, the stimulation of local economies, and the reduction of the nation's dependency on oil exports are all contributing factors to the advent of a new era of economic prosperity. In addition to this, it helps ensure food safety, which is of the utmost importance in Saudi Arabia because the kingdom has traditionally relied significantly on outside food supplies. Additionally, the transition results in improved health outcomes for more individuals as a direct consequence of increased access to fresh produce that is farmed locally. The explosion in agricultural production also fuels research and development, which, in turn, drives innovation and opens up new territories for the study of scientific phenomena. The Green Revolution in Saudi Arabia is a symbol of a significant transformation in the way that we can see the environment and how we relate to it. It proves that even the most difficult settings can be transformed through inventive thought, technological advancements, and a commitment to environmentally responsible practices. The ambitious green transformation of the nation is not just a significant achievement for the environment, but also a daring statement of resilience and forward thinking, which is redefining Saudi Arabia's role on the international stage. The future looks bright for Saudi Arabia's agriculture sector, but what's the vision? Two years have passed since the Saudi Green Initiative, a revolutionary initiative that was initiated with the lofty objective of planting 10 billion trees, was first conceived. This incredibly ambitious goal demonstrates Saudi Arabia's dedication to fostering a more sustainable future and warding off the effects of climate change. 
The program has already achieved significant advances in a short span of time that it has been operational, moving closer and closer to turning this lofty ambition into a reality. An astonishing 18 million trees were planted across the kingdom in the single year of 2022, breathing new life into regions that were once dominated by desolate desert plains. The project has also taken on the substantial work of rehabilitating the land in addition to the spectacular tree planting activities that have been performed. In 2022, more than 60,000 hectares of land are rehabilitated, which demonstrates the nation's commitment to restoring and protecting the natural diversity of its ecosystems. In addition, the Saudi Plans Nurseries were responsible for the cultivation of 250,000 bushes, which contributed to the expansion of the local flora and helped to promote biodiversity. The efforts of the Saudi Green Initiative are not merely restricted to increasing the amount of green cover across the kingdom. In addition to this, the effort exemplifies the broader concept of sustainable development by embracing aspects of the preservation of wildlife and alternative forms of energy. 150,000 houses were powered by renewable energy sources in 2022, demonstrating Saudi Arabia's continued dedication to lowering its carbon footprint and moving toward a more sustainable future. Additionally, there has been a focus on wildlife conservation, which has resulted in the rewilding of 1,200 endangered animals. This has contributed to the enrichment of the country's biodiversity as well as the global conservation efforts. The Saudi Green Initiative has shown itself to be a comprehensive effort in the promotion of a sustainable future, touching upon a variety of aspects of environmental conservation. These aspects include large-scale afforestation, the use of renewable energy, and the protection of wildlife. In essence, the Saudi Green Initiative has proven itself to be an all-encompassing effort in the promotion of a sustainable future. Saudi Arabia is writing a new chapter in its history with every tree that is planted and every hectare of land that is rehabilitated. This new chapter will emphasize Saudi Arabia's dedication to sustainability and ecological responsibility. Under Saudi Vision 2030, the nation is committed to further harnessing technology to boost agricultural productivity and sustainability. This commitment promises a green future for the desert nation. And Saudi is not limited to this. Saudi has much bigger plans, and one of them is the Great Green Wall. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is ramping up its efforts to combat climate change by launching two new green initiatives that highlight the country's dedication to preserving the environment for future generations. The Saudi Green Initiative and the Middle East Green Initiative, both of which were announced by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, have the objective of presenting a comprehensive plan to reduce emissions and support not only the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but also the greater region as a whole. According to reports from the Saudi Press Agency, or SPA, Saudi Arabia, which is one of the leading oil producers in the world, is acknowledging that it bears some responsibility in addressing the ongoing climate crisis. The Crown Prince is on record as saying that Saudi Arabia and the region are dealing with significant climate challenges, such as the spread of desertification. This problem poses an immediate threat to the region's economy, as it is estimated that dust storms alone are responsible for approximately $13 billion in annual damages. According to recent reports, the average life expectancy in Saudi Arabia has dropped by one and a half years as a direct result of the country's high levels of air pollution caused by greenhouse gases. The Saudi Green Initiative will, according to the Crown Prince, work toward enhancing vegetation cover, reducing carbon emissions, combating pollution and land degradation, and conserving marine life. Other goals of the initiative include reducing emissions of greenhouse gases. A bold and audacious goal of the initiative is to plant 10 billion trees across the entirety of Saudi Arabia over the course of the following decades. The current tree cover will be increased by a factor of 12, thanks to efforts of this project, which aims to rehabilitate approximately 40 million hectares of degraded land. This accomplishment will contribute to more than 4% of the goal of the global initiative to limit land degradation, and it will contribute 1% toward the global aim to plant 1 trillion trees. Additionally, the kingdom intends to increase the proportion of protected areas to more than 30% of its total land area, which is equivalent to approximately 600,000 square kilometers of land. This objective is more ambitious than the current global goal of 17%. Plans for initiatives to protect marine and coastal ecosystems, which are extremely important, have been developed and are currently being considered. 
The Saudi Green Initiative will also work toward the goal of lowering carbon emissions by a percentage equal to or greater than 4% of the world's total contributions. This lofty goal will be attained through the implementation of a program for renewable energy that, by the year 2030, will result in the generation of 50% of the kingdom's energy from renewable sources. In addition, initiatives that center on the development of clean hydrocarbon technologies will work toward the reduction or elimination of more than 130 metric tons of carbon emissions. In addition, Saudi Arabia set a goal of increasing the percentage of waste that is diverted from landfills within the kingdom to reach an impressive 94%. By launching these brand new programs, Saudi Arabia is illustrating a forward-thinking approach toward environmental sustainability. At the same time, the country is acknowledging its part in the current state of the global climate crisis and taking significant steps to address it. Prince Mohammed made a historic announcement when he unveiled plans to expand Saudi Arabia's green vision beyond its borders by launching the Middle East Green Initiative, or MEGI. This announcement was a watershed moment. This innovative project, which will be coordinated with countries in the GCC and across the region, aims to increase the number of trees in the Middle East by 40 billion. This regional tree planting program is poised to become the largest reforestation effort in the world due to the fact that a grand total of 50 billion trees are planned to be planted as part of the initiative. It will be twice as large as the Great Green Wall in the Sashul, which is the second largest project of its kind at the moment. The project aims to restore an area of degraded land that is equivalent to 200 million hectares, contribute 5% to the global target of planting 1 trillion trees, and reduce global carbon levels by 2.5%. The Middle East Green Initiative covers a lot more ground than just tree planting. In addition to this, it intends to raise the current proportion of the Middle East energy production that comes from clean sources to at least 7%. The goal of the initiative is to cut carbon emissions from hydrocarbon production in the region by more than 60%. This will be accomplished through the sharing of information on cutting-edge technologies. These coordinated efforts have the potential to result in a cut in carbon emissions that is greater than 10 percentage points lower than global contributions. Prince Mohammed emphasized that these initiatives are built on the efforts that were made during Saudi Arabia's presidency of the G20 summit last year. These efforts included the release of a dedicated environmental declaration, the adoption of the concept of a circular carbon economy, and the establishment of the first environmental task force. Within the country's borders, Saudi Arabia's environmental sector has also been subjected to an extensive round of sectoral reform. It did this by establishing the Environmental Special Forces in 2019, raising the percentage of natural reserves from 4% to more than 14%, and increasing the percentage of land that is covered in vegetation by 40% over the course of the last four years. Prince Mohammed emphasized, though, that these statements are only the beginning of what will be announced. He stated that the country, the region, and the entire world needed to go much further and much more quickly in their efforts to combat climate change. Prince Mohammed dismissed the idea that preserving the economy and protecting the environment are incompatible goals and emphasized that climate action could boost competitiveness, stimulate innovation, and create millions of high-quality jobs. In the following months, it is anticipated that additional details regarding the Saudi Green Initiative will be announced. In addition, a global forum with international partners for the Middle East Green Initiative is scheduled to take place during the second quarter of the following year. This will mark yet another significant step in the journey toward environmental sustainability in the region. The Saudi Arabian startup ecosystem is maturing at a rapid and dramatic rate, indicating that the country is rapidly emerging as a robust ecosystem for digital entrepreneurship. As part of its Vision 2030 initiative, the country is putting a strong emphasis on developing its technological sector. This initiative seeks to wean the economy off its reliance on oil, generate new job opportunities, and entice highly skilled workers to relocate to the kingdom. Over the course of the past few years, Saudi Arabia has witnessed a rise in the number of investments made using venture capital. According to Arab News, at a recent event called Leap 2023 held in Riyadh, nine funds with a total of $2.4 billion were announced in order to drive the growth of startups, and according to Harvard Business Review, venture capital funding in Saudi startups increased by 72% between 2021 and 2022, reaching a total of $987 million across 144 deals. Thank you.
In addition, the population of the kingdom is young, technologically savvy, and has a voracious appetite for digital services. These factors combine to make the country appealing to investors. According to the findings of the GEM report, 90% of respondents felt it was simple to launch a company in Saudi Arabia, which places the country in the leading position among all economies. In addition, a survey conducted by Jim found that 80% of respondents believed the pandemic had created opportunities for new business ventures as a result of the changes it brought about. In recent years, Saudi Arabia has made significant progress towards its goal of cultivating an ecosystem that is conducive to the growth of successful new businesses. The construction of an entrepreneurial infrastructure has received significant investment from the kingdom, which has resulted in the launch of a number of groundbreaking new businesses. Facilitating the development of independent business owners is an essential component of Vision 2030. The majority of the venture capital funding in Saudi Arabia comes from local sources, and it is used to support early stage rounds for companies that specialize in payments or lending. As a result, the environment in Saudi Arabia is favorable for new business ventures. The kingdom is seeing rapid growth in a number of emerging industries, including wealth management and financial technology. In this section, we'll take a look at a few of the most successful Saudi Arabian startups currently making waves in their respective fields. Tamara Tamara is a financial technology or fine tech startup that has garnered a significant amount of attention in the kingdom. Customers have the ability to purchase products from the company's app-based marketplace and pay for them in installments. Trucker Trucker is a new startup in the logistics industry that uses a business model comparable to that of Uber, but for trucks. The platform brings together companies looking for trucking capacity with those who have it available, making the process of transporting goods more productive and less expensive. During its Series C funding round, Trucker was able to raise $100 million. Foodix Foodix is a suite of solutions for restaurants that is hosted in the cloud. The platform offers a variety of functionality such as sales management, inventory management, employee management, customer relationship management, and order management, specifically catered to food businesses such as Cloud Kitchens. The company was able to secure funding of $198 million. Grocery delivery service startup Nana. Nana uses a dark store business model to conduct its operations. Customers can expect their orders to be delivered to them within 15 minutes, making this an option that is both convenient and speedy. The fact that the company was able to secure funding of $133 million demonstrates its potential to shake up the market for grocery delivery services. Palm.hr Palm.hr is a technology platform for human resources that provides a streamlined and user-friendly working experience for teams that are responsible for payroll operations, onboarding new employees, and tracking vacation time. In order to speed up its regional expansion, the company successfully completed a pre-Series A funding round and raised the equivalent of $5 million. Marn Marn is a startup company specializing in human resource management technology that offers recruitment solutions by utilizing both artificial intelligence and machine learning. This company is the first flexible future of work platform in Saudi Arabia, and it is operated by this company. It successfully concluded a funding round of $1 million. These leading startups are just a few examples of the innovative and disruptive solutions that are emerging from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The startup ecosystem in Saudi is thriving, and the country is home to many other innovative and disruptive solutions. These startups, along with a great many others, have the potential to shape the future of their respective industries and make an impact that will last if they continue to receive financial backing and support from both the public and private sectors. The Middle Eastern country of Saudi Arabia is rapidly becoming an important hub for venture capital and technology investments. The ambitious Vision 2030 plan of Saudi Arabia has created an environment that is conducive to the growth of the venture capital industry in the country, making it the best performing venture capital market in the Middle East and North Africa. The growth of venture capital in Saudi Arabia can be attributed to a number of different factors, including a growing younger consumer market, an increase in the interest of foreign direct investors, robust government support for the technology industry, and the emergence of entrepreneurs. To go into more detail, the growth of the venture capital industry in Saudi Arabia can be attributed to the large consumer base made up of younger people living in the Middle East, North Africa region who shop online for products.
In addition, foreign investors are drawn to the country because of its rapidly expanding economy and support of government policies towards technological innovation. According to Bloomberg, this will result in a 7.6% growth in GDP in 2023. And because of this, investors have a significant opportunity to capitalize on the market, which makes Saudi Arabia an appealing location for venture capital investment. An expanding startup ecosystem is made possible by Saudi Arabia's encouragement of entrepreneurship and the country's wide variety of business sectors. According to HBR, the country's most rapidly expanding industries include technology, financial technology, and electronic commerce, all of which are projected to exceed $13 billion by 2025. Another essential factor that is contributing to the expansion of the venture capital industry is Saudi Arabia's unrivaled and strong government support for the technology industry. Small and medium enterprises, General Authority, and the Entrepreneurship World Cup are two examples of the many programs that the government runs in order to actively promote and offer assistance to the technological sector. One such program is The Leap, which is the largest conference in the world and is sponsored by the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology. The government's also responsible for organizing the global startup and small and medium-sized enterprise forum known as BMED in the kingdom. This forum helps to create real opportunities by bringing together local and international business people, investors, and government officials to collaborate and share their insights. In addition, Saudi Arabia is rapidly developing into a center for female business owners. According to Arab News, in 2021, women received 139,754 new commercial licenses, making them the most successful group of female technology entrepreneurs. Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, is home to the largest women's university in the world, making the country an educational haven for women interested in the STEM fields. In order to assist in the development of this exciting new startup environment, Saudi has established a number of venture capital firms that concentrate on early stage investments in a variety of cutting edge industries, including technology, fine tech, and others. The venture capital industry in Saudi Arabia is well on its way to becoming a significant player in the ecosystem for startups worldwide, if the government continues to provide the necessary policies and support. The following are some of the most prominent investors in venture capital in Saudi Arabia today. PIF, which stands for Public Investment Fund, it was established in 1971 with the intention of facilitating the growth of the Saudi Arabia national economy. Since its inception, PIF has evolved into an investment vehicle for making venture capital investments in joint stock companies operating within the Saudi domestic economy. In addition, PIF has made investments in significant global technology companies like Uber and SoftBank. STV, or Saudi Technology Ventures, is the most prominent venture capital firm in the Middle East. It was established by Abdul Rahman Tarabzoui, and its target fund size is $1 billion. The Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia provided the company with an investment of $200 million. Nama Ventures is a seed stage venture capital fund that has its primary mission the promotion of innovation across the entirety of Saudi Arabia. The investments span a wide variety of fields, including early stage businesses, blockchain and financial technologies, medical and healthcare solution providers, and more. The Riyadh Taqniya Fund is a joint venture between Riyadh Capital and Taqniya. The fund's primary objective is to make investments in Saudi Arabian technology startups that are in the early stages of development. Technology incubators can participate in the Badir program. The Badir Program for Technology Incubators is a technology incubator that was established by King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology. This technology incubator offers funding and support to new businesses that are still in the early stages of their development. The largest oil company in the world, Saudi Aramco, has an investment arm called Waed Ventures that focuses on corporate venture capital. It invests in technology startups across a variety of industries, such as information technology, water technology, and energy tech. Wadi Maka Ventures is a venture capital firm that was established in Maka by Um Al Qura University. Investing in early stage startups in the fields of education, healthcare, and e-commerce are its primary focuses. The landscape of venture capital in Saudi Arabia is rapidly evolving and becoming an increasingly attractive investment opportunity for investors from around the world. The nation has the potential to become a central hub for tech startups and innovative technologies if the right combination of government incentives, financial incentives, and a business environment that is supportive is implemented. When it comes to encouraging innovation and entrepreneurial endeavors, other nations should take a page out of Saudi Arabia's playbook. Countries all over the world have the potential to capitalize on the potential 
potential of their entrepreneurs and create an environment that encourages growth and investment if they implement the appropriate policy initiatives. Among the most important recommendations are establishing a business environment that is beneficial to entrepreneurs. In order to create a business environment that is beneficial, it is necessary to provide them with the necessary resources such as funding, mentoring, and opportunities to network. Investing in educational programs that teach current and aspiring business owners vital skills and information is another way for governments to encourage an entrepreneurial culture and culture more generally. Promoting public-private partnerships. Governments have the ability to collaborate with entities from the private sector in order to supply growing startups with the resources and infrastructure they need to thrive. These collaborations contribute to the creation of new jobs as well as innovation and economic expansion. Offering tax breaks and other financial incentives to venture capital investors. Governments should offer tax breaks and other financial incentives to venture capital investors in order to encourage these investors to invest in early stage startups. This will help encourage more risk taking, which in turn will help stimulate economic activity. Developing an atmosphere that encourages and honors entrepreneurship. It is essential to cultivate an atmosphere that encourages and honors entrepreneurial endeavors. The hosting of events and forums that bring together investors, business owners, and other important stakeholders can be one way to accomplish this goal. These initiatives will help countries to capitalize on the potential of their entrepreneurs and create an entrepreneurial ecosystem that is more vibrant. Countries have the ability to foster economic growth and innovation with the adoption of appropriate policies. Saudi Arabia has emerged as a leading example of this and other countries around the world can learn from its success. The largest solar power plant in the world was just opened in Saudi Arabia. ACWA Power, a local utility company, signed an agreement on November 30th with Water and Electricity Holding Company, or Badil, to construct the world's largest single-site solar power plant in al Shuaba, which is located in the province of Mecca. It is anticipated that the solar power facility will begin operations by the end of 2025 with a generation capacity of 2,060 megawatts. As Saudi Arabia works toward its goal of adding 15 gigawatts of capacity for renewable energy sources in 2022-2023, which will support the government's climate objectives and economic diversification strategy, we anticipate that investment in clean energy projects will increase with assistance from high oil prices in 2023-2024. ACWA and Badil are going to establish a joint venture that will be responsible for the development and operation of the project. Both ACWA and Badil are backed by Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund, the Public Investment Fund, which holds a 50% stake in ACWA and a 100% stake in Badil. The two companies are also developing the Sudair 1.5 gigawatt solar facility. The PIF has been given instructions by the government to provide financial support for initiatives that are related to the state's Vision 2030 strategy, which involves the development and deployment of clean energy technologies. As Saudi Arabia strives to become the world's lowest cost producer of renewable energy, the country's government sees renewable energy first and foremost as a prestigious business opportunity. Saudi Arabia already has among the world's lowest solar power tariffs, so the country is well on its way to becoming the world's lowest cost producer of renewable energy. In addition, Saudi Arabia is trying to increase the amount of its oil and gas reserves that are available for export, even though prices for international energy remain high. In spite of the fact that the financial imperative is the primary driving force behind this rapid development of renewables, reputational ends are also a factor in the government's increasing attention for clean energy. This is especially the case given that the government's adopted a net zero carbon emissions target for the year 2060. The solar power project is one component of a larger government initiative to promote the use of renewable energy sources. Within this initiative, solar power will play a leading role in the generation of 40 gigawatts of electricity by the year 2030, which will account for approximately two-thirds of the capacity for renewable energy. We anticipate that Saudi Arabia will take advantage of the recent oil windfalls to accelerate its transition to clean energy in the years 2023 through 2027. This is because the Saudi Arabian government plans to invest a total of about 101 billion US dollars in an effort to increase renewable energy to 50% of power generating capacity by the year 2030. Nevertheless, despite the fact that there has been some progress, it is highly unlikely that the government will meet the overly optimistic goals for 2030.
Despite disagreements over human rights and the Arab-Israeli issue, the United States and Saudi Arabia formed a strong friendship over seven decades ago. The U.S. provides security guarantees to the Saudi government, and in return, the Saudi government agreed to provide the U.S. access to its massive oil reserves. The agreement has survived despite occasional disagreements. The U.S. is no longer as reliant on Saudi Arabia for its oil, and the Saudis are less confident in the United States' ability to protect them. Disputes that may have been ignored in the past may suddenly seem like dangerous rifts. So, what is the current status of their relationship? Recently, disagreements about the cost of oil have added to the tension. The largest exporter of crude oil in the world, Saudi Arabia, has maintained prices being high by limiting supply, adding to inflation everywhere. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, led by Saudi Arabia, shocked the market in early April by announcing a reduction in output of more than 1 million barrels per day. U.S. President Joe Biden took OPEC's announcement in October of the largest cutback in output since 2020 as a betrayal by the Saudis and promised unspecified consequences. There aren't many viable possibilities for the Biden administration to fulfill its promise to recalibrate the relationship. The No Oil Producing and Exporting Cartels Act, or NOPAC, has been revived after calls from U.S. politicians. The Department of Justice in the United States would then be able to initiate an antitrust case against OPEC. However, it's unclear how a court in the United States could compel the cartel's members to comply with its ruling. Some legislators have proposed reducing arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Both choices carry the potential for tensions with the kingdom to rise. So what do you guys think? Will Saudi Arabia become a superpower in the future? It's growing much faster than anyone thought it would. We'll see you in our next video, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to see more videos like this.